right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sticks from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup team. Our tale of the tape now for this featherweight fight. Four years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena, in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 14 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Carlos Boston Paul And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with round one, and fear is not a factor for him. He feels so confident in all of his skills. He don't care what, John, what he got. John, it doesn't matter. John, it doesn't matter. It does not matter how well you see yourself as a grappler. This guy's diff different level. Yeah. This guy's next level. You want to avoid this at all costs. Make oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. You watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, he heard a battle with the jab. And they separate. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, connects with another uppercut. I'm surprised his opponent's head stayed on his body after he that. He won't be able to take many more of these. Right. He's been taking them over and over again, and it's a testament to his chin. But you take one on the perfect spot, he will crumble like a stack of bricks. Keep going again. Go again. 
Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Under three minutes to go in round one. Punch is blocked. And they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. So get oh! are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? You know when to hold him? No when to hold him, yeah, there absolutely. Is. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take him down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to shoot a blind shot. He got defended as you would expect him to. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Notice the drive. Look at how he drives the knee right into the mid. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Close guard. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like... Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So... Back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Cut. Shades of Mike Tyson on such out back in the day. You couldn't take one of those uppercuts or you would go down. Mike goes. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Stuff to take down, no problem. Nice. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. Oh, and he lands another punch there. And you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down. Oh! He's out! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 10 seconds of round number two. Including the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl. So the 
celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than you ever could have imagined.